Welcome. Happy holidays. So it's like this. Um, you probably have like a celebration either alone or with family or friends or whatever kind of people you like or your animals. Like I'm probably going to be at home with my husband celebrating. But the thing is always like this. You know, like these days are slow, whatever kind of holiday it is. Um, you're watching some movies on television and then it's time for breakfast, lunch and dinner and then in the meantime we don't do a lot of things. And then you probably notice that after two days or maybe three days or maybe even after one day you feel a little bit slow and you need a little bit more energy. So this is our uh, yearly free holiday um, class. It's going to be a little bit sweaty. It's my variation of Paul and Susie's animal parade. So uh, it's not exactly what they're doing, but it's a, a combination of what they do and what I sort of changed or added. It's going to be three sequences and we're going to repeat them three times and the last one we're going to repeat two times and then we're just going to slow it down. So we start with mobilizing the body a little bit, then we're going to sweat. You will sweat a little bit and then uh, we slow it down. If you think, like this class is going to be about 40 minutes total, if you think you need a little bit more, you can actually um, stop the video somewhere and just add a couple of rounds extra. So we repeat the rounds constantly. So it's gonna be like mongoose and bear, and then we're gonna do walking the dragon, and we, then we're gonna do uh, twisting the dragon variation. If somewhere you think like, I need to add something more, um, I would say you can just stop this video and instead of doing three rounds, you maybe do five rounds each. So you can do that yourself as well. So you can add a little bit to make it a little bit more intense. But I can assure you that even after this little bit of like, what is it, maybe 30 minutes of moving, you will sweat a little and it's nice. Happy class. So please come and lay on your back, very easy. And you just relax your whole body on the floor. Just a short moment, feeling your whole body, the back of your head and your shoulders and your arms, your legs. Start to move your fingers and your toes. Bringing your right knee into your chest, holding on to your right knee and your right ankle, and then start to circle your femur into the hip socket. You can actually do this with your eyes closed. I like to do this with my eyes closed, going inward and just moving my body. So just making circles outward and circles inward. And I try to keep my leg as passive as possible. Then with your right hand, hold the instep of your right foot. Keeping the foot flexed, lift the sole of the foot up to the ceiling. If you cannot do that, you can always grab your ankle. If you like to move your leg a couple of times, maybe bending and stretching your knee a couple of times, you can do that as well. And then please hold your right foot with your left hand Bringing your right hand behind, bring your foot to your face and your face to your foot. Bending your left knee, placing your right ankle on top of your thigh, interlacing your fingers behind the thigh or in front of the shin. And then bringing your shoulders and your head back to the earth.
And then just stretch your right leg to the floor. Holding your left knee with your left hand and your left ankle with your right hand. And then start to move your femur, your thigh into the hip socket. So circles outward and circles inward. Then hold the instep of your left foot with your left hand, lifting the sole of the foot up. So letting become your, passive, your body become as passive as possible. Then Bending your right knee, placing your ankle on or holding your foot with two hands, bringing your foot to your face and your face to your foot. Bending your knee, placing your ankle on top of your thigh, interlace your fingers and just bring, just bring your shoulders and your head back. And then just let go of your legs, placing your feet as wide as your mat. Slowly start to bring your knees to the right, bring your knees to the left, and again to the right, and to the left. One more time to the right, and then to the left. And then from here, you can either roll over to your side or you can bring your knees to your chest, cross your ankles, and then roll up to a sitting position. And then please come and stand on all fours, on hands and knees. And then on hands and knees, you let your spine arch, lift your chest, and exhale round. And then arch. And round. And arching, and rounding, and arching, and round, arch, and round. Coming back to a neutral position, making some side bendings. So right shoulder to your right hip, and then left shoulder to your left hip. And again, right shoulder, right hip, left shoulder, left hip. Couple of times, right, left, and right, and left. Then dropping your belly to the floor and make a couple of circles, big circles to the left, about three or so. Or maybe you're going a little bit faster and you do a couple of more. And then a couple to the right. You're coming back to all fours, bringing your right foot to the front, left knee down, and then come into your hip flexor stretch. So what you want to feel, where you want to feel the stretch is here on the front of your left thigh. So it doesn't really matter what your right leg is doing. By you can drop it out, you can turn your foot out. So it doesn't really matter what your right leg is doing. But you want to stretch the hip flexors on the left side. And then coming back to the middle, to all fours again, and then doing the other side. Mm. 
Then coming back to the middle on all fours. Then start to lift your right leg up to the right, sideways. And then back to the middle, four times, up and down, and up and down, and up and down, other side, up and down, and up and down, up and down, one more time, and up and down. Then stretch your right leg out to the right leg first. Pull your navel, bring your pubic bone in the direction of your navel. So you have the feeling that you round your spine a little bit, but you're activating the front of your body. So you feel your abdominals activated. Keeping that, now stretch your right leg out to the right. You can flex or you can point your right foot. And then at the same time, you stretch your left arm out to the front. What you don't want to do is you don't want to arch your spine like this and then doing it. You want to pull your navel in and activate the front of your body. Just a couple of breaths here. And then hand and knee to the floor. Same thing on the other side, stretching your leg, stretching your arm. Gonna do one more time on the other side. Pull your navel in, stretch your leg, stretch your arm, Keeping that, take a deep breath, and now bring your elbow and your knee together. And stretch. Elbow and knee together. And stretch. Elbow and knee together. And stretch. One more time. Elbow and knee together. And stretch. Hand and knee to the floor. Other side. Left leg out. Right, leg to, uh, right arm to the front. Elbow and knee together, and stretch. Elbow and knee together, and stretch. Elbow and knee together, and stretch. One more time. Elbow and knee, and stretch, and to the floor. Then tuck your toes under. Coming into your downward facing dog, you can keep your knees bent, and then maybe bend and stretch your legs a couple of times. Bending and stretching, and bending and stretching. Then walk your feet to your hands. And when your hands and feet are together, you're slowly rolling up, vertebrae by vertebrae, to a standing position. And then come and stand on the long side of your mat in your wide stance. So we're going to start our animal parade. Inhale, gather chi. Exhale, turning your right foot out, sliding down the volcano, coming into your triangle pose. And you can just stay here a little bit. Just feeling the stretch here on the back of your right leg. Maybe you want to add some stretch on the left side of your torso. You can bring your arm overhead. You can drop your arm more backwards. Whatever feels best for you. Bringing your left hand down, bending over your right leg to the front in ostrich. Then walking to the long side of your mat. And then placing your hands on the floor, we're going to our mongoose. So you stretch your Right leg to the left, and then we're going to do the other side. Left leg to the right, arm off. Right leg to the left, and left leg to the right. So you see me jumping, but by all means, you can just step. Right leg to the left, and left leg to the right. One more time. Right leg to the left. From here, we're turning over into what we call the otter. And now, 
I flip over. I bring my right hand to the left and my knees to the left as well. So we call this the bear. One, two, three, four, five, six, downward dog. Right leg up, right foot to the front, walking to the long side to elephant. Just hang out here a little bit. And then we're gonna do the other side. Slowly rolling up, get our chi, and sliding down the volcano to the other side. Triangle pose to the left side. And you can do whatever you want with your right arm, but we're just gonna stay here a little bit. Into the ostrich. And then the same sequence to the other side. So you're walking to the long side of your mat. Now your left leg is going to the right side. Into the mongoose. One, two, three, four, five, six. Going one more time to the other side. Into the otter. Stay here for a breath. And then from the otter, we flip over to downward dog and to bear. Knees to the right, knees to the left. Knees to the right, knees to the left. One more time, knees to the right, knees to the left, and downward facing dog. You stay here a little bit, left leg up, left foot to the front, and walk to the other side, to the long side. We're gonna repeat this twice, right and left, but we're going a little bit faster. Rolling up, inhale, arms up, sliding down the volcano to the right. Ostrich. Walk to the long side, mongoose. One, two, three, four, five, six, into utter and bear. One, two, three, four, five, six, down dog. Right leg up, right foot to the front, to the elephant, rolling up. Arms up, sliding down the volcano. Oh. Into ostrich, elephant, mongoose. One, two, three, four, five, six, we have to do one more time. I started on the wrong side. Into bear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down dog. Left leg up. Left foot to the front. In your elephant. One more time, right and left. Arms up. Sliding down the volcano. Ostrich. Elephant. Into mongoose. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Otter. Bear. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, down dog. Right leg up, right foot to the front, elephant, 
Get our key, arms up, sliding down the volcano into your ostrich and elephant. We start on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, into the otter and bear. One, two, three, four, five, six, down dog, and from down dog, left leg up, left foot to the front, and the elephant, and then we slowly roll up to a standing position, get our chi, maybe bringing your feet closer together, and then let the chi Descend. So you notice maybe that even, this is just a couple of minutes, I feel that my heartbeat is high up, my blood is flowing, I feel my breath, I need to control it again, and I'm sweating. Coming to the long, the short side of the mat, preparing our bodies for walking the dragon. Lift your right knee up in stork. Take a deep breath. Flying dragon. Taking your step backwards into backstand or retreated warrior. And now you're going to do a reaching warrior. So I'm going back to the front and I reach out. I'm going to do walking dragon. So to the back of my mat. And I do a lunge. I can dip my lunge, do it twice. One, two and then to the other side. One, two. I retreat to dragon again. And then from here, I'm gonna get back to my stork. And I change sides. Stork. Flying dragon. I step back, retreat, and reach. Walking. One, two, and one, two. Retreat again, and step to the front into your stork. And we're going to change sides. Inhale, leg up. And fly. Retreat. And reach. Walking. One, two, and to the other side. One, two, Retreat and step up to find your balance. And the other side again. And fly. Retreat and reach. Lunches, one, two, and one, two, retreat, and step up in your stork. 
One more time, both sides, stepping down, inhale, leg up, and exhale, fly. Step back and retreat, and then reach. Walking, one, two, and one, two, retreat, and step up. And last one, change sides. Inhale up, and exhale, fly. Step back, retreat, and reach. Lunging, one, two, and one, two, retreat again, and step up. up. Finding your balance, and then bring your hands in prayer in front of your heart, closing your eyes for a moment. Twisting the dragon. Opening your eyes. Inhale again. Leg up. Exhale, fly. Stepping your foot back. Coming into your gecko. Halfway up, twist. Let your arm drop back. And then bring your hand back down, lifting your left leg up, bending your left knee, open your hip to the side, and now thread it under to the belly of the dragon. Coming back to your three-legged dragon. Stepping to the front of the mat, rainbow over to the other side, and twist. Hand back to the floor, lift your leg up, and again, under, belly of the dragon, three-legged dragon, Stepping forward, kicking your leg up, flying dragon. Coming all the way up, and step back. Take a deep breath. We're going to the other side. Left leg up, left leg back. Gecko, twisting dragon, hand down, right leg up, bending your knee, open your hip to the side, and then going under into the belly of the dragon, going back to your three-legged dragon. Stepping forward, rainbow to the other side, and twist. Three-legged dragon. Again, knee to your chest, twist open. Hand to the floor, leg up. And step to the front, flying dragon. All the way up. And a step back. We 
We're going to do that again. Right leg up and fly. Gecko. Twisting dragon. Three legged dragon. Left leg up. Bending your left knee. Open your left hip. Knee to your chest and belly of the dragon. Three legged dragon. Stepping over, flying over the ocean, coming into your twisted dragon. Three legged dragon, right leg up, right knee to your chest, and lift you, bring your right knee to the left, into the belly of the dragon, coming back to your three legged dragon and step forward, kick up, fly your dragon, coming all the way up to a standing position, and find your balance. Gonna go one more time to the other side. Bring your leg up, and fly your dragon. Gecko, twisting dragon, hand to the floor, right leg up, bending your right knee, open your right hip, bring your right knee to your chest, right leg to the left, open up into the belly of the dragon, coming back to your three-legged dragon, Swinging your foot to the front of your mat, flying over the ocean, into your twisted dragon. And then again, your three-legged dragon. Knee to your chest, twist open into the belly of the dragon. And again, three-legged dragon, left leg up. Left foot to the front of your mat. Fly your dragon. Find your balance here. Oh. And you see, finding your balance is not that easy. And then slowly coming up. And then step your feet together, closing your eyes for a moment. We're going to slow this down. So from here, just lift your arms up. Then place your feet wider, coming into a deep sitting squat position. You can round your spine here. If you cannot bring your heels on the floor, you can widen your legs, turning your feet out. Or maybe just stand a little bit on your toes. It doesn't really matter. And then from this position, please come sit down into a forward fold. So I like to sit in what we call butterfly. So I bring my feet together, my knees out, and then I'm just relaxing forward. So I'm rounding my spine, relaxing my head, I'm just staying here for about a minute or so. Feeling stretch here in my low mid back. Some of you may just feel it a little bit higher up. So if this is not a good position for you, if you don't like this, by all means, you can stretch your legs more and just sit here. You can sit a little bit higher on a folded 
blanket or a block or maybe anything. So just try to relax as much as you can. And then from here, we're going all the way to the other side. So I'm going up. I'm sort of going over to my side, but then I'm ending up on my belly. Here. And now I'm going to stand on my forearms in my sphinx. And again, I'm relaxing my whole body. So I'm positioning my elbows that much, or that far forward, that my whole body can lean into it. You probably feel a little bit of compression now in your low back instead of stretch. You're compressing the bones gently into each other. And in this way, just staying here a little bit, it's bene very beneficial for the body. If you want more than this, you can always place your hands on the floor and push yourself more up into a seal. But we just want to do it very gentle. So either higher up or not, it doesn't really matter. A gentle compression of the lower back. And then from here, very easy, please come and lay on your back. So we're going straight in to a twist. So please bring your knees to your chest, bringing your knees either to the right or to the left. It doesn't really matter. Very easy twist. And then twist to the other side. Again, you just bring your knees out to the other side. By all means, if you know a variation of a twist that you prefer to do, of course, you're more than welcome to do it. This is just the most easy way for most people. You can bring your knees over each other. You can do any kind of variation on this. And then slowly coming out of this pose. And then please come and lay on your back in Savasana. Whatever kind of relaxation pose is better for you.
and you can stay as long as you want to. Maybe you feel that you need to stay a little bit longer or you just come up moving your fingers and your toes, stretching your arms overhead, stretching all the way out, bringing your knees to your chest, turning over to one side and then slowly come up to a sitting position. But again, if you feel that you want to stay longer into Savasana, just stay where you are. If not, you come into an easy cross leg position, bringing your hands in prayer position. And I would like to say goodbye here. Namaste. And thank you so much for joining.